Hi folks, welcome to Unicorn Light Tarot. Thank you for joining me today. For those of you who are brand new to my channel, welcome. And for those of you who are returning, thank you so much for your support. So today I thought we would do a reading based on what will come about for you in the new moon. So the new moon will be in Sagittarius this month. And it's coming right after the full moon that was in Taurus, which was kind of a huge full moon for everybody. So I thought, <clears throat> what better way to celebrate Mother Moon than to celebrate her phases of the moon. So today we will be going into and channeling moon energy and seeing what you can expect for new beginnings, because usually new moons and the phases of the new moon are new beginnings. So what we can expect for you for this upcoming new moon, which will happen in a couple of weeks. All right, so as usual, what we have are three piles here. Pile one has, I'm going with the Celtic crosses today, just crosses in general, um, a little obsessed with them. So this is the large Celtic cross here. And then we have um, a, a cross that I found in New Mexico here in the middle, nice turquoise color, one of my favorite colors. And then we have the smaller, but still beautiful Celtic cross here for your third pile. And I thought what we would do as a little bit of fun is in the little copper cauldron here, I have um, just after each pile, we're gonna choose one of these like little tips that'll help you with your intuition and little magical tips that'll help you really hone in on the energy of the new moon and just make it as powerful as possible for you. So I thought we'd add that after each and every pile. So as always, please take your time and really sit with whichever pile is really resonating with you. Pick more than one pile if you need to. Go ahead and pause the video too if you need to go ahead and do that and take some more time. It's going to take a deep breath in here and we've got all our uh, moon and unicorn paraphernalia. So we're just going to ask the energy of Mother Moon to come in and give us some guidance today. So let's go ahead and move these piles for later. So pile one, if you chose the beautiful large Celtic cross, this reading is for you. And as a reminder, we're channeling messages for the upcoming new moon to see what is in store for you. And we also have some extra little magical and intuition tips from our copper cauldron here on the side. All right, so let's see what we have for you. So Rainbow Dragon is the first one that we have. Brings the leap of joy that opens new doors. Have faith, rediscover wisdom, expect miracles and, and accept opportunities. Forest, breath. Queen of Water here, relationship developed to a new level. Trust your intuition, care for yourself and others. And we have the Three of Fire, Abundance. Everything looks very good. We have a Beauty card, the card of Will. We have here the Two of Imps. So Two of Wands. And the Five of Pentacles. And the Nine of Swords and the Eight of Swords, and Gossip. So let's just go ahead and let's move this a little bit further back so we have more. So, so there's a, a few different things going on here. So the, the, the main message that I'm getting for you, Pile One, is that you, this is definitely a new beginning for you. I feel like the full moon would have brought in, um, would have been wonderful for you in so far as I feel like it brought in a brand new way to be, um, and brought a lot of things into fruition that you were that you were working on. Um, but I also think that it it brought up a little bit of your past, in so far as like 
it may have felt for some of you that it was five steps forwards, you know, four steps backwards. But um, you got a glimpse at your entire future of how bright it will be. And I think that was a gorgeous thing to happen for you. I think the message that I'm getting here is that you are going to take that energy into this new moon and really fire it up in such a really profound way that you just bring that power into you so you can feel the amazingness of the full moon energy that you already have and keep it there. I feel like the platform for whatever was set in uh, the Taurus full moon that we just had was really glorious, but in some ways it, it didn't feel as tangible as it could be. Like I said, it was going backwards and forwards, but you did get a glimpse at how gorgeous everything will be. So I feel like the new moon is really bringing in all of that. Um, there was still a little bit of shedding that needed to be done around the full moon. I feel like by the time you hit the new moon, the shedding is done and you can reestablish yourself on that beautiful platform and and really understand um, and and grasp who you are. I feel like you've just gone through some really incredible stuff, like the forest here for breath. I feel like you're you're breathing in a different way. I feel like you're actually standing tall, um, like the trees in this card in a completely different way, very much on your own terms. I'm not saying that you were codependent before, but I feel like you are your sense of originality and autonomy has really come in in a brand new way, which is really glorious. I think one of the things that you had to learn is that you had to put your energy first before you can help other people. Now that you've learned that, I feel like I, I, I'm getting the message that there will be new new heights to relationships. Now, you should have been able to see this and sense this and you should be around um, the relationships that you have um, would have shifted somewhat for the better. And I feel like you can expect that even more coming into the new moon and afterwards. Now, this is a spark of a new beginning at the new moon. So whatever we're, we're talking about with messages will stay. It will not be fleeting. Um, this is stuff that you've just dealt with. You're coming into your own sense of beauty. And I think this comes into your originality and your autonomy. I think you are you're definitely, you're claiming your own beauty in your own way. You're standing tall, like I said, in your own way and really claiming your originality. I think before I get the impression that you, you did listen and measure yourself at least in a subconscious sense, but I, I do sort of feel like in a very conscious sense in some ways, um, you may not have known how deep it went, but in a very conscious sense, I think even though you found yourself to be quite original and really admired that, I think you definitely did um, compare yourself to uh, levels of beauty and, and levels of understanding or levels of um, who to be and how to be um, in societal mode. And you've come out of that now. You, you're not comparing yourself to that you're putting yourself first. So your relationships around you are changing because you've embraced your authenticity in such a huge way. Now, the rainbow dragon here, uh, the leap of joy, you, I feel like you've already experienced that, but you're, you're having trouble grabbing onto it. And you just have to remember that whatever came up in, um, the, in and around the full moon was quite intense. It broke you through to the other side, definitely a 5D mentality, which you were heading towards anyway. Let's move these up so you can see these cards. Um, but I, I will be working through them and showing them to you. I know we're... So you've been, you've been working through that and busting through, and that happened for you on the full moon. But as said before, you were still shedding. You're still shedding. So all the universe is doing is just taking out the last pieces. So some of it could feel really intense because it's the last time you're going to go through the cycle of shedding. You're releasing in a profound way. You're literally taking up the dregs of everything that was negative in your life and letting it go for the last time. So of course it's going to feel a little bit intense. And also we are in Scorpio season too. So it is sort of life, death, or uh, understanding life through the understanding of death, profound transformation. You must remember that you are strong enough to absolutely go through this. And I feel as though 
you have understood this with the eight of swords reversed and the nine of swords reversed. You've understand you've understood on a really, really primary level. Everybody really, I think a lot of people, especially um, people who are striving in the spiritual sense, really do understand at some level that we have our own stories and life is an illusion. And, that's, you know, the, the whole talk of the matrix and and how we work within the matrix. But I think this understanding has really gone to your core and you've really sort of woken up. Um, you've you've been you've been in these situations where you've held yourself, you bound yourself from under an understanding of yourself that was very much from your past and it was very much linked to trauma. That's another thing that you've released too. You've released a lot of trauma that happened in your life and this is not a reading about trauma. You know what it is. Um, that word means so many different things to many different people on, on many different levels but there was some pain that was that was growing inside of you and you've really looked at it and you've not been afraid to go in there and release and it was not easy work. So I want you to give yourself a big hug here. I mean, what you went through and the transformation that you allowed yourself to go through, I feel like you might have even have been quite afraid of that transformation. You know, if I open up this, what will happen? But you, you went through it and you did it anyway and it was really, really, really amazing work. Um, I mean, it's it's the shadow self personified. Um, so I feel as though you've understood in many ways who caused you pain, like literal pain that you had to to go in and release and 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 forgive for yourself. Again, you're not accepting what they did, but and but you know, the actual physical stuff and, and mental and emotional stuff that was done to you. And then on many levels, there was another, there was another way for you to be because you also held yourself, you bound yourself from your past and you created these sort of blocks and these walls. You know, part of it, I think you came in with a past life and part of it was of a result of this trauma, but you've come out on the other side now. You, you clearly see you know, I'm not crazy about the word matrix, um, the matrix, sorry, exactly, Freudian slip, I didn't even want to say it, the matrix. I think everybody understands what that means. It also reminds me of the film, which is, you know, pretty much what they were doing too. But I feel as though we'll use the word illusion. You've woken up from your own illusion in a really profound way. And I feel as though there's a lot of inner child work that's happened that had to happen in order for you to succeed in this quest to move through your past. Now, all of this is coming up in this reading because the message is, is that everybody's, everything's come, come up right now um, for the full moon and there is a profound end of releasing so you can enjoy the, the fruits of your bounty coming in. Brand new beginnings, brand new joy, enjoying yourself and seeing yourself completely different. This brand new freedom coming in at the beginning of um, this new moon. And again, this will stay the way that it is. And as you move through and come into the new beginnings, you will definitely see um, that that all of the joy is actually staying. I feel like the some of it's fleeting. It comes in and it comes out. And I feel like sometimes you use your will in order to try and keep the beauty that's coming into your life. But as yet, it's it's not something that you've been able to integrate completely and wholly 365, seven days a week. Um, you've been going in and out because there's still been some healing to do, but you have gone through this profound level here where you're going to enjoy the fruits of your labor. And it's it, it felt like labor and it is labor because the message that I'm giving is you gave birth, you rebirthed, you gave birth to yourself. So I do feel as though there's this beautiful, healthy balance between you and the universe. I think for the full, first time, you, you've had a very complicated relationship with the universe. You've wanted to believe, you've absolutely believed, you've also been angry with it, you've also tried to use your will with it and everybody knows that doesn't work. Um, You've released um, to see what happened with the universe. And then when things didn't come to fruition the way that you wanted, you got angry and then you've gone backwards and forwards with it. But this is a profound new peace. And the word that I'm getting is peace around the situation that you're in. You're in a new level of acceptance that's coming in. And this is coming in from um, uh, 
past stuff, your, your new relationship with, I, I don't want to use religion, but your new relationship with your own spirituality, what you stand for, being with your inner child and integrating your inner child in such a profound way where you've gotten the childlike quality back. I mean, you really are very childlike, but you had to be a grown up from very, very young, I think. And even if you are younger, remember, this is a general reading, but even if you are quite young, um, comparatively young, listening to this pile one, you would be a very old soul and still sort of feel that very grown up for your age, very mature for your age. But you've really embraced this this younger you, this baby you and and really letting that little person integrate into your life and bringing in so much joy. This balance here with the universe really being held with the universe in incomplete balance. And this is not just masculine and feminine, but it's the balance of what the world might want from you and how you deal with that on your own terms. You brought in your own mysticism here too. Again, I don't want to use the word religion, but you have based it on the beauty of what you were brought up with, the beliefs that you were brought up with. Maybe a strong sort of matriarchal line or... um a sort of a, a, a blood link to um, ancestors that you really connected with. I feel as though your brand new beginnings and your empath, um, you're, you're definitely an empath. So your empathetic nature is coming out here and is being able to, to be utilized in such a unique way to you, in such a way that you can now claim your freedom. I feel like you have gone through these stages where you believed your empathic duties or being an empath was actually quite negative and you didn't really know how to deal with it and you were very overwhelmed by other people's energies but and you you were very overwhelmed by other people's sort of negativity and at times I feel like, you know, walking in a crowd could have been very difficult for you because you felt everything so largely and your energy... It wasn't that it wasn't up to par, but like your sense of identity did not balance in that. So it overwhelmed you and you could have run home or just felt very overwhelmed. But that has all changed for you now. Embracing your beauty and your true authentic power and standing in your own voice, which is coming up in the new moon, which is really wonderful, means that you have a brand new balance. You can handle and deal with the life on your it with life and society on your own terms with no apologies. And you don't have to use your will here like you did before. You can let it go and it just sort of seems to fall into place. So this is absolutely fire energy here. And Sagittarius is going to be the sign um, for the new moon. So that's the sign of adventure. It's fire, but it's also a mutable sign. So it's, you know, you have so much abundance coming in and, 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 Again, make long-term plans. You can bank on this energy staying, coming in, brand new beginnings on your own terms. This is a very exciting time. Let's not forget that we are going to give you a little extra hint and help to, to really marry um, what you're going through and, and what you're going to achieve with... A little bit of extra intuition and help. So let's see what we have here. So um, the little tip here is look into different mythologies and integrate that awareness into your life. So you all already have a sense of spirituality, but um, I feel like you at, at times you were not overwrought, but you had a lot going on with your own energy and you had to take time and, and put that time upon yourself. And that was the, the best thing for you to do. But now that you're going to have this profound freedom coming in, I think it's a really beautiful time um, to really sort of go outside of not even comfort zone, but just go outside of the extra time that you have not having to use your will and just, you know, you're going to be in this releasing time, just go out there and see which mythologies or, um, uh, you know, runes, North, uh, Norse mytho uh, mythology, that's what I'm getting into right now, because I'm, I'm learning about runes or taking it to the next level. And, and just sort of increase your awareness and your knowledge in other realms, however that takes you. And it could be as simple as, 
going into a bookstore and and seeing in the the occult section or any section you know what what sets your heart on fire and going with that um the point of this little tip here is just to remind you that with with your joy and beauty and your new authenticity with your new brand new beginnings you have space now to integrate brand new knowledge that you didn't you didn't have the space to do that before so it's a really great time to to step into brand new knowledge and integrate that into your system and just expect new beginnings on all levels so well done pile one that's really incredible i'm so excited for you um Please feel free to let me know in the comments if any of this resonated with you and absolutely check back in after the new moon. Um, I'd love to hear from you and see how you're doing. So proud of the work that you've done. I know it's not been easy work, but you are absolutely incredible and amazing. Give yourself a big hug today and expect absolute miracles because you deserve them. You've been working so hard for them. Well done, pile one. Okay, pile two. Here we have, again, we are looking for messages and what to expect in this new moon coming in in Sagittarius in just under two weeks. So if you picked the turquoise, beautiful, um, it's this beautiful cross here that I got in New Mexico, then this is for you. As a reminder, we're also going to give you a little bit of an extra tip here, um, a little bit of extra guidance at the end of the reading um, to in increase and enhance all your integrity, spell work, intuition, all of that good, good new moon stuff, all of that mystery that you have around you, gonna increase that magic. So let's see what we have here. Okay, so I'm actually gonna turn this the right way up. I'm not feeling like this needs to be upside down. So here we go, the blue dragon here, it prepares for you to accept source healing. So you are definitely working from the first chakra up. Crystals and focus we have here too. The seven of earth, seeds well planted, a temporary pause in action. So here we go. So two of air, it says unable to or unwilling to make a decision. Okay, so we have nourishment. We have self-love. So we have the Four of Cups coming in here. Pumpkins are pentacles, so we have the Ten of Pentacles. So Page of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, and Joy. So the first thing I'm gonna, I'm gonna put these cards right around here. So the first message I'm getting for you for the new, new moon is stop worrying. Stop worrying. I feel like for you, pile two, um, you definitely need to um, to work on the self-love. But in a more specific way, I feel like your message is to trust yourself. Profound self-love comes from the understanding that you deserve everything that it is that you want. And when you, you keep your intuition open, I know a lot of people, I've certainly done this in my life, where I've asked for things and I've been really specific about what I've asked for. And when I've gotten it, oh my goodness, I did not want it. And then you're, you're spending a lot of time going, oh my God, why do I have this and how do I get out of it? So I think what I understand from this message is, is that profound self-love comes from the understanding that A, you know that you deserve everything that you ask for. And B, you're using your intuition to be really clear about what it is that you want. You're not wasting your time on what it is that you don't want. You're not putting your energy out there with things that um, are fleeting or, you know, that you think that you should be doing. You really have... Um, you really have this understanding that you're going for exactly what you want. That might be, that might take a little while and it might look a little bit different when it comes to fruition, but um, you will receive it. So I think your message here, I understand your message here for the two of air is that making a decision, I, I, I feel as though You've moved into, you've just come out of the new, the, the full moon in Taurus, and I think that's been a great time for you. It's been illuminating to figure out, I, I feel like you have two lives, what you feel like you should be doing and what you actually want. So you have, um, and I've done many different readings 
with this and, and help clients in, in many different ways, this, this very practical brain and then following your heart. It takes a lot of courage to follow your heart. Um, and sometimes things take a bit, a little longer to come into tangible form because usually what we're asking for is, you know, take some work and it takes a hell of a lot of faith to do that. Um, we're living in a society where it's go, 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 compare yourself, go, 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 compare yourself. And in order to, to really be grounded and follow your heart, you have to have ultimate faith. And in a lot of cases, you're, you're really pretty much going against society. That takes a lot of guts. And if you're doing it on your own, and I feel like you do have a spiritual community around you. Um, I feel as though you have a loner sense of self, but you do have a spiritual um, community around you. But I also feel like you, you keep a lot of your insecurities. You feel a, you keep a lot of that to yourself because you don't want to bother anybody else. So you, you keep a lot of um, things to yourself because you think you might be a burden. Now, of course you're not, but I totally understand why somebody might feel that. I think that happens a lot. Um, but my main message for you here is it's really imperative that you you really believe in yourself. You have aspects of, I, I feel like this shining sun where you're like, I can absolutely do this. I know I can do this. But I feel like there's an essence of you that doesn't really belong in this world. Um, and being human, quote unquote, is, you know, the, the human being part of living in this world is very strange to you in some ways. And I feel as though, there's sometimes where you're like, what am I doing here? Not not in the way that you're going to take yourself out necessarily, but, you know, wondering what you're going to do here. So I feel as though that's another reason why you you don't feel as though you integrate into the world completely. Now, you can use that for your own being. You can use that for your own authority and and take that power back and and really claim a certain amount, you, a huge amount of authenticity on your part. And you're working on that. But I feel as though because you don't feel completely aligned with certainly the values of society, I would say, that you, you've cut yourself off from it at times. And the new, the full moon that just came in in Taurus really did show you um, what you could be. And it was absolutely beautiful. Um, but there is an essence of yourself that does doubt yourself. And it comes from um, this profound understanding of self-love. And I think you come into self-love and then you come out, come in, come out. So this is something that you've been working on. Um, and what I'm being told here, too, is that source healing has actually happened for you in the full moon. So when you come into the new moon, you will be able to experience this joy that's here. That's really, really beautiful. And giving yourself um, nourishment and focusing on what you truly want. And again, let's be clear, focusing on what your heart truly wants. So realigning yourself with your past. So, I mean, with your path in this lifetime and what it is that you're supposed to do. So the one message I'm getting for you is it's really important for you to make decisions based on what it is that you want um, in this lifetime. So it's really good for you to assess if an opportunity comes up and they will be coming up in the new moon. Does this move me forward on my path? Yes or no. And in an instant, you will know. Now, you're one of those people, God love you, I've been like this too, where you can say, all right, this does not suit me and you can walk away from it really beautifully and decisively. And then, you know, two days later, you're like, oh, maybe I should be doing that because the practical mind sets in. Maybe I could do it for a while, whatever. New moon is saying, mother moon is saying, don't do that anymore. Literally, if you put everything you have um, behind what it is that you want, in this lifetime and follow your heart and follow everything that you're supposed to do for this path. Um, everything that has been well planted will absolutely come up. It's really important for you. You're one of those people also that I think that uh, you can have profound focus and you have great manifesting ability. But one of the reasons why you don't manifest as quickly is because you see all different types of scenarios that are coming up. You're just one of those people that genuinely sees absolutely every way that it could be. Now, yes, it's good to be prepared. 
And I do say it like this because most of the things that we prepare for it never come to fruition. So we really have wasted our time. But I think this this understanding of, of how to approach life, how to approach your life specifically has gone against you. So the cards are saying here, your message is please just focus on what it is that you want and see that outcome. There's no reason to focus on the many different ways it could go because honestly, that's endless. And the fact that you're focusing on many different ways that it could go actually slows everything down. So nourishing yourself in many different ways, and this is not just diet, although sometimes I feel like it could be um, late eating or eating at night or, um, you know, it's it's good to, to have a little bit of junk food every now and again. I'm all about balance. I used to be one of those people that, clean, you know, obsessed with clean eating and I made myself sick. So I'm all about balance and you are in this world to enjoy every aspect of being human. So please enjoy a little bit of junk food every now and again, but keeping everything in balance with your nutrition too. Putting your tr nutrition um, first, spending a little extra money on those superfoods. I'm getting to very specific for you. Um, again, this is it, this is a general reading, so it, this doesn't pertain to you. I know this is a very specific aspect of the reading. Then just just ignore. But I am getting that. You know, do you know part of nourishment is spending extra money on yourself, especially if it keeps you um, happy and healthy, a healthy mind, healthy body. So, yeah, spend that extra money on those health foods. You know, you'll find the money. It'll all come into it'll all work itself out if you put yourself first with this nutrition. Keeping with the self-love here. And really understanding, again, self-love comes from trust, absolutely comes from trust, knowing that you deserved everything, deserve everything that you have asked for. Now, I can already see that there's a part of you that doesn't trust that you absolutely know everything that you need to know to get out there to be a leader and you were born to be a leader. So maybe you are doubting a little bit of the leadership ability, but you were, you were born into this lifetime with an immense amount of wisdom from past lives and in this life too. And this understanding that you have had in the past, and I think you're working with this, um, but this understanding that you have to have everything perfect before you go out there and, and get things done and, and help other people and earn money is absolutely ridiculous. Please do not wait for that. I feel like in a tangible form, you understand that that's sort of ridiculous. But in, in some aspects of your life, I feel like you do sort of approach it like that. Well, I don't really know. I don't, it doesn't matter. And you know what? You can still get out there and do whatever you need to do. Nobody knows everything and still learn as you go along. I think you're learning that, but putting that back into focus and integrating that back into your life would be the, the best thing for you. No more doubting. The joy is coming. It's absolutely coming and it's going to stay in the new moon. So hang in there. You've got the Ten of Pentacles too. And you've got the Four of, of, of Ghosts. Well, you've got the Four of Cups. So you are coming into a new way of being. And we have, we have talked about a lot of that energy that's been coming up for you because right now that's, that's where you are. But as you come into the new moon, this joy... And this, I'm hearing payoff, is really going to come in thick and thin. So um, thick and thin. Does that even really make sense? Yeah, because that's balance, right? That's that's opposites. That's balance. But this joy is really coming in. And and if those, those negative thought patterns of uh, I don't have enough knowledge or should I really be doing this or maybe I should be doing this practically until something else takes off, if any of those thoughts come up, this is why we were discussing them before. You send them away. You are to follow your heart completely. Take in that joy that's coming in on this new moon and just absolutely and completely go for it. Um, nourish yourself. Focus very much on everything that you want and literally to hell with everything else. Um, and trust that you will get it. Absolutely get it. Um, the one thing that I'm getting is, is that you have come into this lifetime with a very specific path of what you were supposed to achieve. So it's no time to doubt now. You were always going to get it and always going to achieve it. I feel like you are on the precipice of something very huge and it starts with you bringing in this joyous nature, but it, it starts with you, but it's going to trickle at first and then pull in so much abundance from every area of your life, including love life which I feel as though um, if you're single, um, 
you've there's been a little hesitation about getting out there um and if you're with a partner i feel like some of you are with a partner and you're with a good partner but you will be able to open up to them in a brand new way again if you have that self doubt you know it it really does sort of it it looms around you but that's you're coming out of that bubble you're coming out of that illusion now so all relationships, whether they exist or whether they're, they're, you know, they're intangible form in your life already or whether they're coming in, they will shift considerably. So this is a really, really great time for you. And let's assist you to and see what we have for your extra little tip here. Enchant everyday objects with magical effects. Um, for beauty and strength. So I've used nail varnish, for instance, you can leave your nail varnish out under the new moon. And every time you put it on, um, and this goes for whether you are whatever gender you are, nail varnish is wonderful. It's just an, just an example of something that you might put on every day. And, and just as you, as you put it on, um, set for magical intentions for strength, and beauty and who you are and your authenticity. So for you, it would be great to um, to embrace um, who you are on every core level. You've done so much work on the core level now. So accepting this new you and putting yourself out there on your own terms in this lifetime. The other thing that you can do, which is a really fun thing to do, you can actually enchant uh, credit cards with abundance. Now, if you have your own private backyard, you can certainly um, uh, leave your credit card out there under the new moon. Otherwise, just enchant it on your own terms. And every time you use it, um, just think that extra magic is coming and extra abundance is coming to you, not necessarily in money form, but in any form. And I think this way of being and adding this into your magical practice and, and who you are and who you're developing. And once you start to see this abundance coming back with your own intention being out there, I think it's going to be really great for you because you'll see this on tangible form and you'll really be able to trust your, your focus and, and it'll put you out there in a really new brand new way. So I think this is great for you if it resonates with you and again however you enchant and in however you set up intentions for beauty and energy coming back to you that's absolutely up to you it doesn't have to be full-on spell work or anything like that magic is magic it's just intention so great things happening for you pile two i'm very excited for you for the new moon please let me know if any of this resonated i would love to hear from you uh feel free to check in um and leave messages for me after the new moon uh when this energy is coming in and is abundant around you and you take care of yourself sending love and light bye bye okay pile three here we go this is all you so if you picked the the smaller uh, Celtic cross. This is yours. Well done. So we are asking Mother Moon for uh, specific intentions and messages, what to expect for you in the Sagittarius uh, new moon coming up. We also have a little extra invitation um, if should you want it, a little extra um, help uh, into, for your intuition or um, witchy magical goodness. Um, for you at the end of pile, at the end of your pile reading here. So let's just go in and see what we've got. Air and Water Dragon helps you connect to higher frequency. So Mountain and Strength, that's wonderful. Emperor, I love that. Organization and Logic. And we have Archangel Michael coming in here, one of my favorites. Uh, Nine of Earth. Enjoying life's luxuries. Wonderful. This is also one of my favorite cards. So we have protection, which is reversed. We have fruition, one of my favorite words. <laughs> and we also have, so we have the nine of wands here. And we have the page of pumpkins here, which is uh, the page of pentacles. And then we have the nine of pentacles reversed, the magician reversed, and destiny. Okay, so you've got a few things going on here. I would say um, the first message that I'm getting is that um, your masculine side or masculine energy um, has been uh, reworked in this uh, full moon that we just had in Taurus. And you really are connecting with 
um, your bloodline and uh, the strength of where you came from. Now that may may seem a little bit different and, and that can be interpreted loosely differently because this is a general reading. Um, for you, it may be specifically like going back home. Um, for you, it may be traditions of your family. For you, it may be traditions that you've come up with yourself for the family that you have now, soul family, um, the family that you've made, including friendships, like I said, soul family. Um, but there's been a new integration and power that's come in from honing in on your masculine side and bringing in and honoring ancestors. And if this is something that you've just started to think about doing, this is something that you should absolutely instinctively work on or work with the energy of it. Um, I feel as though um, you haven't always felt as though you were protected or maybe when you came in in this lifetime, you were not as protected as you felt as you, you could have been. And I feel as though you're seeking out that protection now on your own terms and you're opening up and sort of reestablishing, like I said, um, uh, the sort of real connection with your bloodline. I feel as though you could have been either a loner or you're a lone wolf, one of those, you know, in your family, you were the one that traveled all the time or, you know, the weird one or whatever. So I feel as though you, you know, you may have very large ties with your family and you may be very close with them in many different ways. But you, you've also been sort of the original one in the family and have gone off and done things. So you you haven't always had um, the 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 grounded protection that maybe other family members have had because you travel a lot and you're just not there but you are moving into that that's something that you are requesting and that's something that you are um, bringing into your life and you've brought it in or you're just about to bring it in and the full moon had something to do with that in a really profound way um and connecting to your ancestors and your bloodline is really beautiful because they are bringing in um the luxury of learning who you are in a really profound and beautiful way. Um, I keep getting, uh, Mother Moon is giving me this image of like a tree and you've always been sort of, um, you know, in the storms and, you know, and, and, and pulling up your branches the day after the storm. And you've always been strong and you've had to be strong for yourself. But now that you have that masculine, um, this very sort of like willful but beautiful masculine strong energy that comes in not the feminine can't be strong but um this this real beautiful masculine energy that's coming in all the branches are now connected i'm seeing them go off and they're connecting in very very various different ways but they all link back to you because they're coming in from your past lives and they're coming in from your bloodline. So you have this new level of support that goes beyond what you had before, goes beyond the earth, goes into the sky, goes into your past and goes into a very metaphysical and beautiful way. Now, what that does is it it it. It changes the way that you're manifesting. So for this new moon specifically, because we've been talking about the energy that's come in um, from the full moon, the Taurus full moon. So what you're going to be doing with this energy of the new moon is seeing all of these effects coming in, in a tangible way. So again, if you haven't really worked, but you've been thinking about working with ancestor energy, um, once you start working with it in the new moon, it's all going to be coming in really, really, really quickly. If you have been working um, with this this energy already in a really tangible form, then what you're going to be doing is seeing the 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 fruition, the the tangible physical results. Um, what you've been bringing into this timeline from the outside, you're going to be bringing it in and seeing it. Um, from the external into your internal life. So you'll be able to see it in tangible form. The other way of seeing this is, is that, um, not to sound weird, but if, if, um, if you feel as though you've never really, um, you've, you've never really felt um, at home on earth, some of you are star seeds, some of you um, have come in from other planets. So when I say bloodline, I mean returning to that energy and working with them one on one and, and, and having them work with you and connecting to your frequency in a completely different way. And then you go off and this absolutely incredible um healing force so that's another way of seeing it too but it is still your bloodline it is still your history you are here to 
um, I feel as though it's been a long time coming and I feel as though you've been on your path, um, the path that you were supposed to be on your entire life, but you've, you've not always seen, um, the, the physical manifestations of that, you know, maybe, uh, your path moved slowly or, you know, finances weren't where they were supposed to be. Your idea of success wasn't, you know, where it was supposed to be. But your destiny is coming in thick and fast, whatever you've done throughout your lifetime. And there was this huge, huge milestone that again came in on the full moon on Taurus. And you would have felt that a huge breakthrough. You are on your life's destiny now and you will step up into the role that you were supposed to play. I think you've done it already, but you've done it on your own terms and you've done it on a sort of a small but tangible way. Um, the people that you've influenced and the people that you've been in and around have, have loved who you are and have really learned greatly from you, but you are coming into this on your own terms in a global way now. So the new moon is bringing in... Um, an essence of your destiny that you've never seen before, which is extremely exciting. So, you know, you're holding the torch for, you've come in with, um, you really have come in with intergalactical, I don't know if that's even a word, intergalactic energy. So it might sound a little weird, but that's really what I'm getting. And I'm just giving you messages that I'm really being told. Um, and you've been holding the torch for a long time. And you've been holding the light and holding this knowledge. And now is the time to put that knowledge in a, in a really profound way out into the world. And you're about to do that. Um, now, this does seem like it's a huge task. And it would always seem like a huge task. Because you're bringing this, um, this beautiful knowledge in human form. So don't get overwhelmed. The message is, please don't get overwhelmed. It's your path. It's your destiny. You've been working on this your entire life. You've come into this energy. And you're now working one-on-one -on -one or one-on, you know, um, with this energy in your bloodline. So you absolutely have all of this energy behind you, all of this support. And they wouldn't put you forward if they didn't think that you could do it. Now we're going to turn this card right way up because the protection is absolutely there um, and you have bought it in. And I'm just going to show the fruition here in the nine of earth. We have here this beautiful card. Both of these cards are, you know, this is showing the you that you are enjoying its past tense, enjoying the luxuries. So you're and fruition, you're coming in, you're seeing the fruits of your labor. So any of these doubts that you have about the abilities that you might have or the, the knowledge that you're carrying, whether you have the right to carry it, um, whether it will be understood because you're, it's sort of intergalactic. It's, it's not human um, understanding, but we, we just have come into a new frequency. We've just gone into 5D. People will understand this now. Um, you're not coming at it in a way that you would have come at this 10 years ago. So you do have the strength. You do have the knowledge. People will understand you. Um, in the past, I feel like you've been misunderstood a lot. So there's a little bit of nervousness about putting yourself out there and being misunderstood. But the people who misunderstand you are not the people that you're supposed to influence or they're supposed to support. The people that are out there that you will support are going to be resonant and uh, will understand the messages that you will bring forward. So any doubt that you have about um, not having the right or um, not being able to hold this, the light codes or whatever it is that you have, the knowledge that you have can literally, I'm just going to put this underneath because these, um, these would have moved forward for you. You should have a new understanding or creating a new understanding from Taurus new moon, uh, Taurus full moon. We're moving into the Sagittarius mutable, beautiful sign of Sagittarius coming in on the new moon. So back on destiny, getting your new protection, carrying those light codes, bringing it into the world in a really huge way, um, seeing the offsets of that, um, coming into new sets of soul family too, which will be coming in for you. This is an absolutely brand new beginning on a completely different level. So we only have one left here because you're pile three, but this is um, a little extra help should you want to do it. Have your inner child create a spell for you. They are in charge. Let them get creative. Now, it doesn't have to be a spell, but it is um, a reminder that when things get a little bit of heavy, get a little bit heavy with you and you think, oh, I'm, I'm holding so much information. Will people get it? Will I be misunderstood? And you want to integrate yourself back into the world the way in which you want to, which is with this knowledge that's really not earthy, then 
introduce your your um your your baby self your child self your childlike mentality into this and instead of getting heavy get out there um, with your childlike mind and let them take over for a little while so let them take over um how you would write the next chapter of your book and yes you are writers and you are writing this down or however it is that you're bringing this energy or these new messages into the world it will be in a tangible form you may be writers you may be filmmakers you may be artists but let your inner child take over they will take over in a way that will just put literally every kind of um a negative feeling or any kind of doubt that may come up um they will put everything in perspective for you and they will just lighten up everything. And sometimes you just need to lighten up a little bit. Yes, you are here for a, you know, a really huge reason and you're coming into that reason. But lighten up, make sure that your inner child is integrated into the way in which you live your life, think your thoughts and put your energy and ideas out there. That's just the best thing that I can say for you. So pile three, this is an incredible new beginning. I mean, this is literally what you've been waiting for pretty much your whole life. So you can't say fairer than that. I'm really excited about your light and love that you're about to integrate into the world uh, and to bring in your own personality while doing that and having fun with your inner child while doing that. If any of this resonated, I would love to hear from you. Uh, down below in the comments and feel free to wait until you know the, the new moon energy comes in and then let me know how you feel um, and what came to fruition for you. I want to say thank you for being you. I'm really excited about your new beginnings. Um, coming into the new moon, you deserve absolutely everything and just go right in there and take the world by storm because you were always meant to. So thank you for joining me today. Until we meet again, bye-bye.